Good evening, I'm Nelo Mohozi, and welcome to the Machine Learning Money Podcast, where we discuss conversations surrounding financial literacy. And on this very episode, we discuss the relationship between money and art. We host Roniki Temoro, who is a visual artist, who his artistic journey is as a result of consistency through in exploring nature, human relations, expressions and impressions and a variation of ability and of course a resonating choice to inspire the new generation check out the full video thank you and welcome to Marshallian money podcast so today we are talking about the world of art Arnale Rodney who is a very very talented artist how mata otamana mumin mol he has a gallery there that's where he does most of his work so we'll be talking about art and the business behind the art we will be talking about money and art and in helping us um you know tackle that conversation Arnale no Rodney studio Rodney thank you so much for joining us today Uh, thank you very much. My name is Oba King Rodniki Damore. Um, I'm a fine artist. In other words, I'm a visual artist. Uh-huh. So that's another part of art. I can only performing arts. Yes. Yeah, yes. But I'm a fine art. You know, it, it deals with visual arts. Mm-hmm. So I did a painting, drawing, and did a sculpture. Mm-hmm. Okay. So anything that's visual, yeah. that's my forte. That's why Yeah. I, Yeah. So 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 visual art era gona gore ke dutsele gore di a bona kana ke dutsele gore wena so ntse ro di bona gore gona gore di set to life. Uh visual art era a lot of something is visually stimulating. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. So gore uh, you know that face phrase a yeah. picture is worth a thousand words. Yeah, yeah. So we we see the same thing but we don't read the same thing from that. Yeah. So yeah. visual art is that Yeah. Somehow it's it's pleasing to us but we don't know why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, but you, you know the thing about art, uh, I think the beauty about art generally um kone kone gore you know we we interpret it in different ways and we feel about it in different ways um if you listen to music you know one song will hit us differently you know <laughs> the world over <laughs> yeah. yeah there are those songs that motana e kwa like to me never mutu said yeah 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 but yeah. because it hits us differently yeah. nostalgia yeah. <laughs> you know growing up near high level it's a Um, you know, more especially in the movies, um, they'll go to to an art gallery and then they'll be looking at pictures and then somebody looks at the picture and then you are like, but this guy just threw paint at this <laughs> canvas, you, you know. know for, <laughs> for a long time, because now it's yeah. not art. Uh, you want to find art uh. in, in this form. I'm trying to express a way of life of people. Mm, mm. So for a long time, like that abstract art, what mm, it is mm. and what it means. Yeah. Until ke go lebe ke to the abstract art, what does it mean? Mm. So what does it mean? It means kore like how do you arrange it? Let's say there's a flower there and then there's the sky, mm, another flower mm. another sky. Mm. And someone finds that beautiful. How you can actually take away the form of the flower winds mm-hmm. cut the middle man mm-hmm. or throw the color that they like how they are and then it's still beautiful mm-hmm. so that's abstract art yo yeah, yo until you understand it you would be like what yeah depend the rasa rasa to yeah ki a way ka do depends the rapa mo mo canvas and got it beautiful wow yeah I, how live it is a normal man um, you'll never understand and <laughs> yeah. then you you go to an auction or you 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 watch an auction ya ate and you nearly you know say taloga nyele you feel ngore gore ga ga ditse ke one le ngore ta belwa lwa everyone wants it um, you know they understand it in a, in a, in, a, in a different way another um, thing happens value like yeah most of the artists in the did look at how whole whole man but change just from one style to another mm. so they have gained a lot of value in over how we rank a company for 1 million mm. in three years but the way it is for 40 million mm, mm. Uh, so it appreciates in value yeah yeah how yeah. to rent this amodi gallery you can rent it to galleries and then it still makes money for you yeah you can travel around the world e bona ke ba to ba duela madi gore ba e bona and it makes money for you when we rekile yeah yes 
Wow. So um, where, where, where did you uh, what did you meet at? Okay, I met at <laughs> mm. most of the people laugh when I yeah. see this. I met at Nerira Cup. You know mm-hmm. Kappa? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, Kappa can be I think Kappa is new to us. <laughs> Why did or not, I don't Greek think Ronald was performing at Kappa. It was in primary school. Or not, I think it was called some. It was something different, though. Hey. Yeah. So in Kappa, there is this topic in about the we should learn about different cultures in Botswana mm. and express them. Mm. So you can express them either by a com- composition. Yeah. So now I decided to draw. The apartheid thing. Yeah. He says to draw the basara, kaba barangate, yeah. the baherero, the food they ate. Yeah, go like draw them a deal. Don't ask me how it was. Yeah. Like draw them a deal. Like what? 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 The that thing they drink the basara. Okay, the bow and the arrow. Yeah. So that's where I met it. Actually, it was one of the most beautiful things in my class. Yeah. And I got praises from the teachers. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, so that's when I began the interest of art mm. because I was studying that culture, Abu Yeah, and then yeah. I've so you realize it's a, it's a, it's it's your calling from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So and then you just continued with it. Um, yeah, and then when I got to junior school, <laughs> another funny thing mm. happened. I was gonna do because my cousin kept bringing or reading team on that. I was gonna do D and but he like it's an aqua. But the body one by by lady in Tini Bala Bali I was like hey, but then bully. <laughs> so I think short people. I was like, Let me go there. Yeah. And then I realized again for now I'm home. Because yeah. I was f- first lesson here, like what the Ardure Maboharo. I was actually good. But Nursar to as if I techniques, yeah. anything, but I was yeah. good. Nardural Bogono Basata and on peace. What's a mess? I know. Wow. I'm so not back in the day we used to have, um, it was you were choosing between art and it was art and religious education, mm-hmm. and then um, DNT and home economics. Like um, the, the options is a thing. I I I still think what they didn't make much sense. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a shift. Yeah, like, yeah. The next year we do we do an arira. Yeah, go go. The next year we do a big one. I don't know how the it did. It 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 keeps on changing like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. Um. So today we, I want us to talk a bit about um. You know the 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 money side of the art. You know we we sometimes when we when we talk about artists. Um. You know we we are always inspired about um what they do with their hands or what they do with their their head or whatever they use. Right. Um. In art and um. You know. Nakungwe hana kwenzets amaya le mukawari. Uh, maybe they did not do well in business um, or in life generally, right? Um, but we we still praise them, and we don't want to talk about the the money side of the art. You know, arnanza no 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 letar nerenza arnanza praise you, praise you. Akantle yana ke mona mcholo wakupa waban. So akum pole lore. So for you, when you started like doing the art, obviously it was a passion at first. Um, when did you? Um, start wanting to do it as a business. Okay, um, it's a good story. Like the first time I was, I was in Palapa, I remember, mm. and I was very, very broke. Mm. Like very, very broke. It's not mad. You say to her, "How could you hell? What am I gonna get?" Mm. And happened. I think they call it this gentleman five hundred pool. Mm. So I, my sister was in China, mm. and then I borrowed five hundred. Like let me do this call it this is I give so apparently banka mina le negative 400 so rana my sister 500 so i remember get a back i the following day i be travel am pala be get na mo pre school and get hi guys happened the first pre school ever call number will call you yeah. Went to the second preschool. They were ah, what are you doing? Hello, little puppy. And then we get little puppy. I think in thirty. Malo what thing? Eh, malo what? Eh. They were how much? We got two fifty. They were nearly two fifty. 
رتاوبی مثلا هی استیت ای سو یعنی که لا ایدیا نه خور خور کی با کنوینس کی خور کی دیر اساسی مال اگر نو تاتا کاموس سو د تایپ پریس کولی نه کنه مو دیگه چنه نه تو تونز کی بونا ور کی خور ایرا ای کی پن پس مو بار واو کی بوگا 300 دانه گل کنوینس ای بار سو اوتا کا من یو دانه سو اوتا کاموس ای میت 6000 دات مان واو سو واز لایک اوکی دیز مانی هیر ای That's when I I ventured full time because if you learn I have part way part again let's see because I I never said that it's a full time thing yeah yeah so that's when I realized how this thing can be a career made because mm. in Alamad and it doesn't matter how you made that money yeah you just have to make it yeah yeah so, and you know how are we how are we khaiba to go part again Mm-hmm. Um there's this there's this um series I used to watch with a billionaires um so this guy he, he was a billionaire he hired um an artist not an art so he hired an artist um so normally the artist they would prefer or ba ba bereke ba they 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 take it to the gallery and then people look at it and then i lor go bidwa go bidwa or the prices are there they can buy so this guy when i feel like or had local gallery He gets to compete now with other billionaires for this guy's art mm. and he wanted to be the only one holding on to this guy's art right so he hired the artist um so when the artist ora ora ha artist wa mradu kana ke inspire wa ke do zidi baya and this thing ora ke sign no contract you know high high sense shop ya ya ngafek so what that guy did about material like an apartment a eh, a eh, artist like right um you know some let's say where you know the, the, the furniture you know kwa kwa ile bilen ten let's say or let's say like all all of those things right because he was rich mm. but the guy really struggled to 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 create the art that he wanted waban and len wa tena go feel or duetsi waban and then i remember the time when the the artist was actually saying look na I'm inspired by so many things and freedom is part of that inspiration. I need to be free. You know, the moment I feel like I'm captured. You know, don't say I'm going to throw out and do it long or that not really inspiring. This this they call the creative curse. Yeah. I, I don't know how far it goes. Yeah. But there's something about writers, artists and this thing of just some uh, i don't know where it comes from that mm, creativity mm. and if they lose that owen yeah when i'm to jan jan green sin 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 it's all about the man can't do jay more and healthier simon would be vege i will i will i can lose a touch up because i know comfortable low healthy now yeah. that losing yeah that mojo i don't <laughs> i don't know how far it goes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So 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 you you've never you've never um done any type of work besides besides art. Um no, I've never been employed. Mm. Mm. Cuz that time I was unemployed when I started that. Kupalap. Yes. And then from there I was like okay. Art. Art. But I used to sell ginger if that's something. Yeah, yeah. But it's all me like <laughs> just me. Yeah. I, I would supply to a restaurant yeah. the rece- family recipe yeah uh, this is nice it's traditional yeah hey and then they will sell it for 10 pula and then i get 8 pula yeah. to the next restaurant mm. and then next up no but going at because i don't want to spend half my day and then half my day get gap and i want to mm. do it all the time even yeah. in the middle of the night mm. Mm. Yeah. hey So <clears throat> another thing is I realized my strength and my weaknesses. Mm. My strength is creativity. I cannot negotiate uh even for a fair price I can't like I get like by let line that here about the ah discount tell it amon. You have like a bend uh so that's when I decided to go okay I need someone who can manage these things. Mm. Mm. So right now I have a business manager yeah. who, who talks to clients, right quotations, right Mm, mm. proposal because i don't want to deal with those now mm. my job comes when okay do man let that guy the mom do la something we get that guy depend maybe you create yeah hey we just talk about what they want mm, mm. Oh, well. mm. so my strength is there yeah 
I cannot work with my weakness. Yeah, yeah. I would let other people solve that. Yeah. And if we can attain that more to one, I think we will go so far. Yeah. Because come on, saying I'm an artist has galleries whereby you have curators, mm. art curators, art critics, art managers. Mm. Art, like there's a whole system. Mm. Yeah. So jalama di mora no, you don't even know. How much can you make in this month? Yeah. So, so you you know what you are saying? It's so it's so powerful. Um, you know, in the sense that if you take um, uh, situation in Botswana, like no has guys, or we don't have um a, a lot of uh, professions within um an industry, right? So how okono itelele or maybe an artist is so good right um very creative they know how to use their hands but how so so ra thalose a ta ga go a in thalose gore sinde sinte go ga go diragaleng go a ring they might not be as good yeah. right yeah. and that is selling mm-hmm. and if you can't sell you don't get the right price if and you don't get the right price you are not in business yeah and people buy stories Yeah, yeah. Want, like Omar um, wants a guy, we see more like guy. People buy that. Mm, mm. So if someone can follow you around, about all the stories that I've already because maybe you can't tell it, but you are living it and you know how it how it happens. Mm. So people would follow you because of your story. Maybe they can relate to it and they want to see you succeed. Why would share? Yeah. Because they know your story. Happy people would think they know you better. Mm. because they know your story. Mm. So that those people who can write stories are journalists, you know, if we have a whole system, this thing can be a very very lucrative business opportunity for 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 all of us. Yeah. Hey, high level America, they sponsor Hollywood like they put a lot of money in Hollywood. Hollywood is art. Mm. It's it's pop culture. Maybe they created a whole new thing called yeah. pop culture. Yeah. Whereby at the Abonikuni all over the world that way of dressing mm. music the visual art the movies yeah. they are selling that and if you have your art got it if everyone is doing your art that means everyone is you mm, mm. that means you are your rich is far mm. and that means you are rich mm. you have a lot of money yeah a influence wow wow that's powerful and i think we should have the a similar conversation um with 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 all the artists you know um because this month be the total help more 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 we are we are promoting the creative industry um around that industry to say look we need to get this industry to another level i was watching one clip um i think the 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 other month um so this guy was speaking to he's he's doing a tutorial for artists but music artists um is doing a tutorial around running uh, music um as a business so now we are going to worry um you know every every artist um they don't need a manager they need a ceo mm-hmm. you know is because it Uh, the guy actually works with Kanye West uh, but he's a white guy okay. uh, he's a is a is a is a is a white guy oh i think it's Kanye West who said that yeah. on the ad yeah. yes on the ad yes <laughs> it's Kanye who said I that saw. or they should have a ceo right um managing their their empire because there's a whole value chain that needs to be understood mm-hmm. and with the manager otabali busy managers they babalin thing they work more like um executive assistants like they're managing your calendar you know taking calls and uh you know ba ba reject ba to gana ba accept the gigi and stuff like that to happen but with the ceo is totally different ceo is thinking about um setting up a studio they're thinking about you know um you know you having your own brand like mm. like t-shirts you know caps you know getting into the the shoe market um you know uh, getting into the the negotiating with car dealerships so I want for you to have your own car um or your own radio station stuff like that it, it, it's that big and how how we lebelela you know or i'm just an artist you know hohela ho and then you don't realize that's why uh, there's Kanye West there's Jay-Z and there's others <laughs> wow well, 
because for for them they they, they run a business it's a huge empire yeah. you know jay-z i want to manage you so which aspect of my business do you want to manage <laughs> yeah. because that clubs and and cars and alcohol and clothes and and all of those things so i like that you mentioned that so uh, we're going to go for a quick commercial break Haraboa. The value chain um, within the the art business, right? So that we we get to understand the opportunities in Zinyang and and if more people were to speak about it, um, all right. Um, so if you're just joining us now, um, Rale Rodney, we are speaking about art as a business. We are speaking about money um, behind the art. So stay tuned. Hi, I have a free gift for you. If you want to claim this gift, go to www.marshelling.online slash gift. In this gift, you will learn how to become financially free in five years or less. And we are back. Um, thank you so much for staying tuned. We continue our conversation. Um, Le Mr. Rodney, we are speaking about art as business. We are speaking about money and the value chain behind the business of art. Um, Rodney, before we went for for for, for the commercial break, um, you know, I wanted us to touch more on you know the entire value chain, yeah, like, uh, yeah the art business, sorry, um, because Rodney was calling. Uh, I, I can't really speak um, for what um, the, 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 the students were being taught, but our understanding was that, um, you know, it's, it, it's a thing of a, of a brush and paint, pencil and paper, right? How did cherry or artist and then from there, what happens, right? We we never thought about that, right? Like, it's a thing of me coming to you and saying, look, I want this. What if people are not coming to you and saying, I want this, right? What do you do as an artist? And then also, um, you know, how do you get your things to market, right? Who's marketing that, all of those things. Um, just take us through, you know, the value chain, the opportunities that are, are, are found within your line of business. So, like I said uh, before, art is just about storytelling. Mm, mm. So, if the Americans are pushing that propaganda to the world through the art, mm. everyone is becoming an American. So, America is becoming valuable, and that's how they see it. Mm, that's mm. how the value is. Yeah. So, art is just like journalism, whereby you push your own propaganda. From mm. the very olden age, during the wars, mm. They will do some paintings whereby Udurangara is tougher than the earth. Mm. And then they are psychologically winning the war. Mm. Mm. And then they will end up physically winning the war. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, when it comes to art, it's, 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 a, it's a big, big thing when it's there with politics mm. and religion mm. for a country. So an artist is someone who is very, very important to the country. Mm, mm, Aban, just mm. like a politician and a religion, mm. religious leader. Mm. Aban. So to push your own country. Like right now, if I can ask you about Botswana culture, you wouldn't know. But if I ask you about South Africa, you will know a lot. Yeah. Because that art and influence, it's even come to us here. Mm. So now everyone can get a share of that. Aban of that value that we are not doing. So from media people and uh, even the politicians, they can benefit from that. Mm. That that culture being sent. Now our country can be seen. Yeah. And more deals can be made with this country. Yeah. More money is coming. More schools are being built. Just anything economical. Mm. It's, it's just benefiting. Mm. So when it comes to the gallery, the to a small scale, whereby there's a gallery. So there are people who run the gallery, the curators, those are business opportunities for them to mm -hmm. make money. Yeah. And the art is a million dollar, like it's a million dollar thing. Mm. So I love we made 400 million. Everyone is sharing it mm. from 
the curators art lovers uh, there are people who consume art mm. they get to see it in galleries they don't want to gallery yeah people are getting hired in these galleries from from different points of life mm. yeah even just motelo cleaner yeah mm. hey, so these galleries commercial galleries diabula mm. people buy our culture gona lady exhibition every other two weeks mm. kids come to tour in our country to learn our culture from different schools out there e our president it becomes valuable yeah no why see we around mm. the world because ramo pusha through our art yeah cuz it's like if there is war in botswana and journalists cannot travel artists can still send that message through to the mm. world mm. what's happening here yeah even you if you try go to secret code yeah it yeah it's sent through yeah it has happened before it's something that has happened for 100 years mm. Mm. yes you know i like i like i like the example you've given yeah yeah america because you know the there are there are certain parts of america that home how you should born but only by like tv you know you have an image like for 20 years you've been having this image of that part of the states and you feel like you know <clears throat> everywhere you go this way what you're going to find mm. because they will show you the images um of that area not only by 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 by, by photos right i get really like the movie and i kind of the movie most of most of it is staged right um they 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 it, that's art yeah. right they someone has to uh, you know to draw something you know and then go gatseng a bogo tsengwa mo maranyaneng and then maranyane a ba go tsenga dipone a bogo go go nayana and then i been like it's a city right yeah. some of those cities are just created you go there for the first time you are like okay i see i see some resemblance but it's not really what i've been seeing <laughs> but the thing is you've already arrived yeah. i get tourism is already there yeah. um i think i think with us mobuzwana we've relied so much on real images right um you know capturing uh, okavango you know o chokodimo you know we, we we depend so much on that but okavango is beautiful the, the 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 deltas and stuff that beautiful we know that right that standard but we can beautify it even more okay. by okay. using okay. our imagination yeah. so that because we need the, for people to buy i mean people go to disney mm. you know but kid people buy the no chance you are chance you are now the whole world is, is trying to go there but akum polelore um lona within the industry because you are already in it um what, what are you doing to get us you know to 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 come in because you need to bring us in i get for retaloganyo so that because tomorrow when i start speaking about it he starts speaking about it right we are spreading the word but we need to get to understand first mm-hmm. uh, how are you contributing to educating so when i get a client mm. they are not just a client they are my students now i have to teach them how to appreciate what i'm doing for you and what it means mm. so what i'm doing for you as an art piece kind of artwork uh, it's a it's a very valuable thing mm. that price tag that you are <clears throat> buying it with in the next 50 years that's like five generations mm. Mm. you will be kore to botoga la bana ba go boswa yes ba go mo ile gore ha go affect ka inflation yes in fact who appreciate the word value yes right So what we're creating here it's it's a gold mine kana boswa ba bana ba ga so when we talk about arts and culture when it's circulating in 50 years go the no re ba tadi art like za ga road ni ina tshela ka 2020 they're going to go to the museum what thing yeah yeng ki and then the museum is going to buy it for a lot of money our art because they want to remember those stories of the olden I think they age well. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Those stories they yeah. age well with wine. So, if I get a client that are my student. Mm. And not only that, if I don't get a client, 
I still go out of my way to teach people about art. Mm. Like I have um, painting sessions whereby I'll just create an event whereby people will join me, get tickets, and then they will paint with me. Mm. Right. And then I also teach kids. When I teach kids, their parents are there mm. to support them. And their parents are my other students. Yes. Yes. So I teach kids from a very early age so that they can learn the basic elements and principles of art mm, mm. so that when they are grown into individuals, they don't even have to grow into artists. They mm. can become doctors, uh, lawyers, and yeah, presidents who understand art. Yeah. Yeah. If, if they are lawyers and mm. someone... Copy, take my, yeah, copyright. There's a thing called copyright. Mm, mm. Someone takes my work and then they use it. I can sue that person yeah. for money, mm. right? So my students will be understanding those copyright issues and everything about art. Yeah. Yes. And you know how difficult it is, um, you know, when when someone in a specific profession doesn't understand um, you know, you know, um, things like art and others, right? I'm um, like, for instance, more, 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 If you go and report um, a cyber crime, mm. you know, it, it's a challenge. Like the moment you come in, you know, you can see in their faces, or a, because, you, you know, and, and they don't really need to know everything about it they just need to have a good idea um of what happens you know um how much someone can lose in instances of that to take it seriously yes. you know so 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 at it is it, is the same thing yeah um, yeah just a little bit of information can really go a long way no really when you're talking about the police yeah can you imagine that like the cause it's very difficult client a painting a portrait about mm. how do you do that how do you deal with that how yeah. do you report how yeah do you, yeah like it's a business and someone made you do something so you know, only they want to buy it mm. Mm. and now they're changing their mind mm. or because now right now the system that we're operating with it's so that we can have value in our work you give me 50 percent I write you the receipt, we sign everything. Mm -hmm. And now I'm studying the work. Mm. So what I'm left with you is 50% and then you get your work and then I get my yeah. remaining balance. Yeah. Right. So what happens if they ch change their mind on the way? Mm. Uh, yeah. How do the police deal with those issues? Mm. Uh, I think everyone should really learn a little bit of something. Yeah. Uh, from the system I'm a police to the system I'm at, Mm. Everyone should be involved. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, Hosan Toro na lima police are dedicated. Eli the artist here, yeah. mm. yeah, right? Mm. The sketch artist, whatever. But the lale art crimes, mm. I get. Good mm. the system they should work. Yeah, but I think we should have system. Hosan le baba baba irans na ne baba rutamba to our manager baba senda malay baba irans the events it's a art. Yeah. Because art is a business, you know, every day. Yeah. Do you know if um, insurance is currently um, insuring art locally? Uh, do I know? If insurance is, 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 is insuring art. I don't know. Mm. I really don't know. Yeah, because I know I, I'm also not sure. Um, um, I should know, but I, I, I'm not sure about that. Um, because Lynn, I'm not well versed with art, though I like it. Um, but I know what I, um, you know, uh, in so many other developed countries, um, you know, art, art, art is that valuable. People have pictures of my one million dollars or more. Um, so they, they ensure that. And then when I lay, because of the, 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 the value of the art, um, when I lay, there's a lot of crime also, mm -hmm. um, where people fake the art. Um, and sometimes people they will they will buy an art they will insure it, and then after insuring the art, um, they 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 but thing a bahita at that thing more 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 saving, and then they create a fake art and then get people to steal it, and then they go to insurance they claim they still have the art, so there has to be um, assessors who come in to assess. 
um, the, 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 the art, the I guess. Originality of the the art. originality of yeah. the art. Like, you see what you just mentioned now. It's like, you may, you opened up like four business, like four opportunities of employment right there. Yeah. Art investigators. Yeah. People who ensure art. Yeah. People who make sure that this art is not getting stolen yeah. or being faked. Yeah. These are the systems I'm talking about that, that, they should be available mm. here in Botswana. Mm. Um, mm. Whereby, when I'm to make an show, I would say no, but mom is a mom. When I lead the web, like the system should be there. Yeah. Because now it's valuable. Yeah. Hey, and it's similar. Like I, I think it starts way, way, way back. Whereby we try to sell our own stories, mm. and they become valuable to us, mm. like a diamond. They are. Yeah. And that's how these people view the art. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Um so you um Rod if you if I assign you to do um work for me, right? Uh, maybe a portrait, right? Um I think yeah, a portrait it's 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 given a given a, a papa meets incentive because if you were to draw um an island or something anyone can buy it. So a portrait. Um so you charge me say ten thousand pula. Um, I've paid you 50% deposit, 5,000, and then you finish the art. And then once you finished, I come to you, I tell you, uh, my brother, can I, um, I can't pay you the balance. Um, not because I don't want, but I, I have financial issues. I really don't have money um, to, 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 to settle. And you can't afford to give it to me. And I, I, Corey, I don't have money to an extent that I can't even, um, you know, uh, say let's have the other 50 percent as debt and i'll pay you later because i don't know where i'm going to get the money mm. and then you end up maybe um you, you know keeping the the portrait like you can't sell it to to to, to anyone right mm. um so can i worry how, how do you protect yourself against um do do it in signal or like um, I don't know. How, 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 how do you deal with that? Um, like I, I said, mm. my clients are my students. Mm. So when you can't pay the other 50%, mm. you have developed your art. Like, mm. you have developed it yourself. Mm. Uh, mm. It's going to take a long time to get where it had to be. Mm. Uh, so another thing is uh, the contracts that we sign, because it's not just me. Mm. Now I, I am the art person. I don't negotiate a lot with people. Yeah. Uh, me, I'm where I paint. Mm. And this is very, <coughs> it involves a lot of people because yeah. their salaries come from that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they have to do that job. Uh, yeah. When or we can, they can go and talk to the sheriffs and mm -hmm. Yeah, proper measures to be taken. Imagine if I As a doubt, sir, I do know what's our way. I would do it. 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 I it's a Facebook. Mm. We tell her in the next five years, they will be worth five million. I was not in the zero point zero zero five. We know what's all about the whole Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, no, I can put it like um, um, uh, the the non fungible tokens, NFTs. Um, you know, um, how how art works, um, in that sense. Understand that they are uh, eventually. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you 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 followed it, um, but it's been a big thing um, um, in the in the past few few years, um, or in the past year or so. Mm -hmm. a, you know, somebody develops art within a system, and then um, you you buy that art, and then Luena, it's it's there, it stays in the system, but everybody knows that you have bought an art from Rodney. Uh, value I want to get because I get with the with with with, with blockchains 
um value determine like the demand so how about to buy a bona bar eh bana at the bana nka etsa ka 100000 to bana the value just keeps going up like that go mo mo aba i don't know if um that's something that you guys have looked into go wana art and money mm the go wana art and money yeah go hand in hand together yeah all right how do we go that like people are just selling and buying the art to mm. save the money go re this this koro freezer ma dia ha mari you are not only freezing it i appreciate the with time yeah so i spend the 1 million more i think how are you mm mm i've appreciate that appreciate that. after 5 years we regress again 20 million mm mm that's that's the logic behind it. yeah right. yeah so you can invest in other things yeah but art is one of them <coughs> mm you can buy gold you can buy shares and you can also buy art mm. it appreciates with value yeah so like i said it's about selling your own story if people can buy that mm. for that value early settling mm. that mm. even is the same thing they put art in the computer rona we sell our culture mm. we sell our stories here in botswana through either visual art visual form whatever it's still the same thing yeah you buying something it increases with value mm. in time yeah so you don't you are not losing that 1 million but how come my hello 1 million no every next year let's say you know what thing is that inflation with inflation and all 1 million as yeah. to the 1 million ah, but i'm sure this time around but one of the you know what inflation yeah, is inflation is lantern never to a low kwala le buyo and confusion inflation is a bad thing Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't affect the rich. So you can yeah. do that. Yeah. So if you buy this actually freezing your money. Can I give you a chance or art is like you are buying furniture. Mm. But you know what you call like man. Mm. I know Jay-Z is very big in art. Um he invests a lot uh more more art thing. Mm. Um paintings and all. Um he that's that's where he stores um some of his money as a way of diversifying yeah, so um you know have a proper system around art mm. yeah a, a lot of people what was the mm. uh, yeah there's going to mm. be a a proper way of yeah. saving your own money yeah. you know, for the future for Yeah. yeah yeah no rodney um na kwe re tshwere so mo rena le segment e le re batang go go itsi um um mona ko nye khutshwane um so but as far as my shilling are concerned um i don't know if when you have your own um saving and investing philosophy um how do you how do you do those uh saving and investing philosophy mm. um okay <laughs> I don't save I invest right yeah, yeah. that's the first philosophy because saving inflation mm, mm. Uh, so I invest and I don't buy my own things I let my investment buy something for me mm, mm. let's say I want to buy a shoe yeah I wouldn't go directly with the money that I got buy a shoe mm. I would rather go buy a paint and a canvas create art than that art to buy me those shoes yeah yeah uh, So there's a middle man yeah. in the middle of that. That's powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. Did you learn this things Gabwe na kana u durutlo bala pe? I think <laughs> I think growing up yeah. we have never learned anything about money. Yeah. But for some reason I think my mom has always been a smart person. Mm. Uh, mm. Like just natural. Mm. So maybe I got a little bit from her. Yeah. And subconsciously. Yeah. But I don't I don't think I can see or yeah this yeah. uh, philosophy from yeah yeah but I think these things I learned from around like how can I be better yeah mm-hmm. yeah wow how can I be better wow. when it comes to finances and we still have a long way to go but mm. Mm. at least we have a, a clear vision of how it works yeah yeah, yeah wonderful yeah. um and then locally do you um have you have you borrowed any money to improve your art like from local institutions or from any private investors um okay i i believe in sponsoring myself yeah uh, sponsoring myself like it's I should pour money if yeah. I want to make a, a video if I can't make a deal with someone. Yeah. Involve 
kosa na school automatic like if i want to shoot a video in you know, order to be super uh, how i work and i'm not a videographer and i'm yeah. involved the videographer mm. they will get no and i think he is valued at 6000 pool mm. how much can you shoot for me mm. i don't know mine is valued at 3 3000 pool mm. okay let me offer you this art of one shoot that every 3000 or something you know go go i'm the one who needs you more than you mm. Mm. then we are clear Mm. and then i try to make sure that i sponsor myself as much as i can yeah i want in yeah. terms of if i want to build a structure mm. if i want to get people to do this i try to sponsor myself yeah so you call it bootstrapping <laughs> um so when you are when you are using your own funds to to help your business to grow it's a very very powerful um you know model and it requires a lot of discipline Um so so I think I think I think I think you are doing really well um Rodney and you know Mama Shilling we we can only wish you well um you know we want to see the art growing we want to see the business growing um the next time we have an interview um sonse re ga o tsena ha bo tsena ona le le batho mwa e mihale mwa e mihale mwa tsa di minutes mwa re mwa re that's what we want to see um because we le rona you know as financial advisors and um we our growth is highly dependent on having a lot of rich people in the country yeah. you know um otherwise um we are always going to be charging you know menial fees we we can't be rich um so it's very important that everybody else becomes rich so wherever we can help um we'll be happy to help as far as advice is concerned and all yeah so um as a as a as a parting word um what what would you advise ngwana e long gore gongwe o sentsa go la o motsadi e long gore gongwe go di sabana you know in understanding art okay um i always tell people uh, art is not a talent mm. it's a skill it's like being or any other skill yeah being a um, a doctor the skills that are required for you to learn the the profession so art is not just a talent it's a skill acquired over a period of time mm. so if you say it's a talent someone is going to be like ah why would you would be at 3000 you can do it in your sleep yeah no i cannot do it in my sleep I have learned this skill over a very long period of time to perfect it that I can do it in my sleep and that's the value of that skill. So if you have a child who does art, you can really work on improving that child's skill. Mm. E. Yeah. And that's where I come in. I have art classes whereby I improve gifted people. Mm. That's, I improved that skill. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So Rodney, how about how about go ba ka ikopanya lo yana go kae? Um so I have a Facebook page at mm-hmm. Rodney Kita Moch. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and there you can follow my link to WhatsApp. Yeah. But if you want to directly WhatsApp me it's 7759 2256. Yes, 7759 2256. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rodney. Re le bogela gore o bonona le rena mothulaganyo ya Mashele. See you on the next episode. For collaboration or if you want to engage with us, please call us at 39500262 39500262 or check us on our social media pages at Mashele or Ignite War. See you on the next episode. Hi, I have a free gift for you. If you want to claim this gift, go to www.marshelling.online/gift. In this gift, you will learn how to become financially free in 5 years or less.